Hello. You know, oftentimes when people do good, bad things happen to them. Such is the case with our guest today, Ollie Stewart of the Southside Wellness Center, today on The Bernie Hayes Show. Ali Stewart. Welcome back, Ali. How are you? Good morning, Bernie. So glad to be here. It's so good honor. to see you, too. Always an honor. Oh, it's always an honor to have you here. Uh, everybody knows uh, that you operate the Southside Wellness Center. They, they know every year in the park you have the coming together, you know, for the seniors, and that uh, you transport the different seniors with your buses to different events uh, to, to feed them, to get clothing for them, to get services for them, medical services for them. I understand that uh, something happened to your buses recently. Yes, yes, it did. But not only do we transport uh, the uh, people's for clinics appointment, mm -hmm. we also transport for people's with disability. We right. have a contract, mentally mm -hmm. ill, autistic, and uh, that, that's a very, very needed service. Right. And those, and that's what we use those buses for. Those buses start leaving at six o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. yeah, you provide and the transportation. We provide them. the transportation sure. citywide transportation. Mm -hmm. Citywide, yeah. Citywide. And, uh, and you, you serve d different nursing homes and different other facilities. We, elder, elder, senior. Yeah, citizens. well, mostly we serve mm -hmm. uh, uh, the East to CL program mm -hmm. and, and uh, the disability right. program, disabled mm -hmm. program, artistic, and and the ones like that. Well, something well, terrible happened to the buses. Tell us what happened. Yes. To her. Well, it's happening citywide, uh, maybe statewide, that someone is coming in at night and uh, taking our catalytic cat converters. Catalytic converter right. mm -hmm. away from underneath our vans. Yeah. And those things are very expensive. Mm -hmm. They didn't. They, they didn't hit five of our buses. Wow. And they run about seventeen dollars, seventeen hundred dollars yeah, for each bus yeah. to, to be repaired. But when we come in in the morning and they have removed uh, the buses and not running, we're not able to drive the buses sure. at, in that condition. We have to go rent a vehicle because the parents and everybody depend on us yeah. picking up these disabled and transferring them to workshops. Some of them go to workshop, daycare, and a few of them work. Mm -hmm. And they depend on that service, sure. and they uh, that's the only outlet. They are at the workshops and the, the different facilities from probably seven o'clock until two, wow. and then we return them back, return them home. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a door-to-door -door transportation. We have to go and, and knock on each door. We don't have to knock on each door, but they know what time that the bus will arrive, and sure. we pick the pick them, help mm -hmm. escort them They're to the bus. Schedule. And yeah, and yeah. escort them okay. back to the places, and they the ones who work are very serious about work, going to work and being mm -hmm. on time, because they are disabled, but they are able to make a little fun. Yeah, sure. And that's they they really don't like to be late. They're very uh, conscious of being on time mm -hmm. and uh, being picked up on time. Well, how can we help you? Well, uh, one thing I, I you can tell, we're hoping that we would be able to do a fundraise or somebody. Mm -hmm. I think we have a GoFund and go fund, yeah, yeah I'll, GoFundy, I'll mm -hmm. and we are hoping that someone would would donate to the cause mm -hmm. uh, because five buses and keeping them those buses repaired in the insurance. Is quite expensive, mm -hmm. very expensive, more than our budget sure. allow for. Right. Can they call you and make a donation? Of course, they can call 664 664 5024. That's 314 664 5024. Yes. Or, and they can also go to Southwell at SWBL.net. That's your email, right? Yeah, that's the email. Yeah. And uh, the community, you know, when we are not able uh, to pick those, our resident, our clients up. Mm -hmm. Some of the parents go to work, and they expect for us to be there at a certain time sure. so they can go to their job. So how it, long have we been running this outside wellness center, Miss Stewart? Well, since seventy six. Nineteen seventy six. Seventy six, right. and we've been in a location where we are 
uh, we've been there since 1980. What's the address there? 3017 Park. 3017 Park. 3017 Park right. Avenue. That's the East of Compton on Park. Yeah, yeah. East, east, of, east of Compton. Compton. Yeah. yeah, it's mm -hmm. east of Compton yeah. and That's west of Jefferson. West, between, we're right yeah. between Jefferson and Park. Yeah. So people can also drop off donations and, and other. Yes, the they, they can. Mm -hmm. Someone is always always there. Mm -hmm. And we, we are open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 every day, sometimes 5 or okay. more. So people can give you, they can bring cash and they can also bring uh, checks. They can bring cash and, and anything. Check. Can they buy the catalytic converters themselves? And they can donate. donate. Mm -hmm. They can donate to, we used to, we was using a repair shop on Grab Horse. Mm -hmm. While we had our van there, someone went underneath and, and uh, removed the converter okay. away from the van sure. at the repair shop. Wow. Now, the guy say that he saw the man underneath the, the, the vehicle. Mm -hmm. He called the police, and uh, the police came, told him to go back upstairs. Then the guy at the repa repair shop had another van on the other side. When the, when the uh, police left, he just went on the other side and removed the other convertible from, yeah, from that vehicle. Yeah. Catalan converters. Okay, you know, it... it um, you depend on these buses to transport people who are yeah. in need. I mean, you described all sorts of uh, disabilities, uh, for, for, and the need and the need for them to go to medical, get medical services, and, and, and food and clothing and self-sustaining items. Uh, you know, I won't get into why people do this because we all know why they do it. I guess, but. Uh, to do something to the Southside Wellness Center like that, who depends on so much, who so many people depend on you, it's just a, it's, it's just a shame. Your, your pastor uh, is very involved in your work too, I understand. Oh yes, Reverend Kosh is right there. Mm -hmm. He uh, helping whatever, whenever the beacon call, mm -hmm. he's there. But the main thing we have worked, tried to go and talk with Metro, they don't even have a bus. Uh, east of Grand, uh, a bus that run east of Grand all the way to Jefferson. There's no transportation. And we also have several senior senior buildings there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have to uh, we have to give transportation mm -hmm. to our clients when they come to the center. Because sure. they don't have no means of transportation. There once was a bus that stopped right in front of the building. But there's no transportation in that area no more. Well, my goodness. So everyone's actually depending on the Southside Wellness Center. Well, transportation, transportation is sure. a very important mm -hmm. uh, service to the elderly and yeah. to the community. Sure. Because lack of transportation. Okay. Once again, the phone number is 314. 664-5024. Mm -hmm. And Southside Wellness Center is located where? 3017 Park Avenue. Mm-hmm. It, it, are they tax deductible? They, they yes, it's tax deductible. Mm -hmm. We have a 501c3 mm -hmm. uh, Southside Senior Citizen Center, mm -hmm. and uh, Dr. Gregory is the chairman of that board. Dr. Ron Gregory. Dr. Ron Gregory. Sure. He'll be mm -hmm. joining us very, very soon, too. You know, Ms. Stewart, uh, I've been on you for so many years. We've been oh, yeah. for so long. Do you know, I know, mm -hmm. I know you don't realize that it's been 40 years that we've been doing to bring it together. 40 years. 40 years. Unbelievable. So if you subtract that, you was a very young man. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I can't wait to, th uh, th th this coming May, we'll be doing yeah, it again, it, right? Yeah, it, it will, it will be. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, what's the guy named at, at the Muni? He yeah. said, he said, Ollie, when you came here, I was 26 years old. Mm -hmm. Now I'm 60 something. You know something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's talking about uh, the people who run the Muni Opera House. Oh, that, yeah. That's that's I just uh, can't thank you enough, Ollie, for, Stuart Cut, for coming to us today and uh, telling us about the needs of the Southside Wellness Center. Well, thank and we're you. We're going to try to get some, some people. Well, I want to get to bet you back. I want to get Dr. Gregory in here to talk yeah. a little bit about uh, what's okay. going on also. But uh, so much is needed to help. That's so Ollie Stewart's number is 664 5024 and they're 3017 Park in uh, the city of St. Louis. That's between Jefferson and Compton on Park. And uh, you can come by and bring up donations. It is all tax deductible. And they need this transportation. They need these buses to support uh, their programs that they service at the Southside Wellness Center. 
taking people, taking seniors mostly, to get the health care, to get food, clothing, and so forth. And you take them out for, for, for civic events. Oh, yeah, we go, we go to civics events. Yeah, yeah, we go, yeah, all the time. We go uh, to, not only do we go to the park when it gets warm, we, yeah. we go all around. We National go to the Blues movies Museum. Yeah, to and the uh, museums. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, uh, it's a needed service. And without the seniors, without this type of service, without transportation, the seniors would be isolated in right. their apartment. Right. Uh, since they moved, removed the buses, they family members can't come by, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, to see yeah. them. So, Ollie Stewart's my guest, and you see these mugs on the table here. Yeah, uh, you see, this is Harris Stewart State University. That's Webster University. Yeah. This is the Bernie Hayes Show, and Reverend Larry Rice wanting everyone to have one of these mugs, and because it keeps our show going. And here's Reverend Larry Rice to tell you how to do so. Will you help New Life Evangelistic Center get back into 1411 Locust Street? Your tax-deductible gifts are urgently needed at this particular time. And there's many different ways that we're working to get back in that facility. One of the ways is to continue to inform the community through the Bernie Hayes Show and other programs. And if you haven't supported the Bernie Hayes Show and the work of New Life Evangelistic Center, please do it now. It's urgently needed. Your gifts are deeply appreciated. So many homeless people are waiting to get back into 1411 Locust. And so many others need the direct help that New Life is trying to provide at this time but it's facing some real financial needs. And that's why your gift is very, very important. And to express our thankfulness for all of you that are sharing your gifts, we wanna send you this special Bernie Hayes cup. It's my wife's favorite drinking cup. She loves to drink out of this cup, and this is actually the only coffee cup she wants to use is the Bernie Hayes cup. It's something very special about this cup, and we'll send it to each one of you that share a gift of $25 or more with the New Life Evangelistic Center and ask for your Bernie Hayes cup. It's P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, that's 63166. Your gift will not only help us get back into the 1411 Locust Building, but will help our first responders that are on the streets, the first responders that we have out there day after day, night after night. It will help keep our uh, women and children in our safe houses, continue to keep our training programs open, our worldwide mission work, whether it's in India, Haiti, Africa, so many different things the New Life Evangelistic Center is doing. In addition to NLEC TV, Tell your family and friends about it. Put it on your phone. Put on your, uh, get that phone app on all your friends' phones so that they can all see the Bernie Hayes Show or go to 24.2. It's your prayers and gifts that make all of this possible. I thank God for those of you who continue to pray for the reopening of 1411 Locust and the work of New Life Evangelistic Center. There's so many obstacles we're facing as we try to help the homeless, but we're going to continue to give it to God. We're going to continue to pray. We're going to continue to work, but we need you to partner with us. So again, it's New Life Evangelistic Center, P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri, that's 63166. I thank God for each one of you that are praying, caring, and sharing. Hey, welcome back. Uh, we're still talking about the Southside Wellness Center, the need uh, to replace the catalytic converters that were taken from the buses. And with me is the chairman of the board of the Wellness Center, Dr. Ronald Gregory. Dr. Gregory? Morning, Bernie. How you doing? I'm Good. doing fine, Great. sir. Okay. So tell us about the need for transportation from the Southside Wellness Center, and, and your role in this. Uh, I was uh, appointment chairman of their board just mm -hmm. recently, mm -hmm. and let me tell you, it has been quite an experience. You know, you go to these centers, and you don't realize, you know, as an individual, you're involved in mm -hmm. them, but you don't realize what happens in the background, the cost, all the services, and how these services are provided, who pays for them. Sure. And uh, uh, when this problem popped up where these people were taking the uh, catalytic converters off the cars, see, if it happened to me, mm -hmm. all I'd have to do is call Uber or something and get where I'm going. Sure. But when it happens, when this happens to Ollie, she not only, the center not only has the expense of repairing these yeah. events, yeah. but they also create a bill because they have to rent other transportation sure. because these people are sitting in their homes waiting for the service. And you can't get on the phone and call them and say, uh, our vehicle vehicles are uh, and it's not call a ride. Huh? Yeah, you know <laughs> it's they it's they're unable right now. So when they're fixed, you know it's we'll inconvenient. Yeah. 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 So what happens is that they immediately have to call and rent 
service vehicles to pick these people up because mm -hmm. uh, these people are in, in, in dire need. They have to, you know, medical appointments, sure. uh, job appointments and things like that. So when you don't provide the service that they're depending on, it backs up on the family and Certainly. it disturbs the family. So yeah. uh, Southside Wellness has a system in place where something like that happens, but it's costly. Of course. And uh, uh, the problem is that as long as there is some outlet for these people who are doing this stealing mm -hmm. to take these things, yeah. then this, this problem is, is going to happen. And until they uh, figure out or do something to stop people from selling these things and, and, and whatever uh, the outlet uh, they have. Yeah, the, the thieves, they, they, they bring it to certain s stores and right. places where they can build. You know, the cost of a catalytic converter is like $1,700, and yet and still those people who steal them sell them for less than $25 oftentimes. Right. Yeah, know? I mean, it's it's unbelievable the, the little amount of money that they get for the damage yeah. that's, that's caused. Yeah, um, right. So, um, your involvement with the Southside Wellness Center, right now, you are asking for this fundraiser to help the Southside Wellness Center. So once again, give us the phone number, 664-5024, is that right? Right. Once again, 664-5024, and you're 3017 Park. And every dollar that is donated to the Southside Wellness it's tax deductible, tax deductible because they have a 501c3 mm -hmm. and it's registered with the state. So whatever money that uh, the people donate mm -hmm. to them, uh, they're able to write it off on sure. their taxes. And I mean, it's a it's a worthwhile cause. And, and the other thing is, they don't have to wait for something tragic to happen to donate. Right. Uh, because she has a lot of ongoing programs oh, okay. there, doesn't yes, she? Yes. A mean, lot of ongoing programs. Uh, programs <laughs> where uh, people come in and, and, and uh, uh, see what's going on in the community, mm -hmm. uh, voter registration, all these types yeah. of things that uh, uh, community service. Sure. They're uh, involved in, they have Christmas dinners for the uh, the community people, and and like Ms. Stewart said, there are senior citizen buildings in the area, yeah. and transportation with these people, public transportation has been eliminated. Yeah. So that puts a burden on uh, on the uh, people. We have programs at the center, and we have to send buses out Just to some to of the up. seniors and sure. pick the people up to bring them. Uh, to the uh, center for the uh, uh, different events. A mm -hmm. couple of questions. First of all, how did you get involved? Uh, I got involved originally because I'd been knowing Ali for years, and I started going to some of the uh, uh, civic uh, programs mm -hmm. that they have. And now uh, my wife, who is also a senior like me, she's involved. She's actually a client mm -hmm. uh, in the program. She goes to the senior program uh, on a daily basis. Yeah. And when I began to really see uh, what was going on, and you know, Ali kind of, she didn't have to twist my hand too much to get me involved. She slapped yeah. me on my head a couple of times. <laughs> and that, that was enough to uh, uh, convince you to do convince it. Convince me. And yeah, yeah. you know, now that I'm retired from the school system and doing, you know, some uh, uh, programs, community programs. Uh, this was an ideal uh, uh, match for me. Yeah, I know the Millennium Group works hand in hand with Ollie Stewart right. Southside Wellness Center. Right. And uh, in fact, uh, you've been on my program several times of a fundraiser you'll be doing not only for the New Millennium Group, but also for New Life Evangelist Center and the New and right. uh, Southside Wellness Center. So you're very philanthropic yourself with your time. Well, <laughs> I grew up as a youngster depending on a lot of community help when I was a young kid. Mm -hmm. And I realized, you know, there is a need out there and, yeah. and, and, and people got to get in, involved. You know, you have a lot of programs out there where people are marching and 
and participating in things. And and some people sit down and say, well, I, I just can't march. Uh, I, I can't be involved. Write a check. Yeah, yeah. Write a check to the organization. They can do that. Let's oh, come by and bring come it. Come by. <laughs> bring some food. Sure. Just whatever you can do. Yeah. You can participate. You don't have to be one of the stormtroopers. But yeah. these stormtroopers, the people who are out there on that front line doing yeah. the job, they need people to volunteer and come out and, you know, help serve the food at, at some of the dinners or, you know, drop off a couple of dollars. That was my second question for you because uh, Ollie Stewart, I don't know who she has it, man, but they serve some of the most delicious meals I've ever tasted. Man, you know, and it's consistent. Yes. It's not just every now and then. Yes. I mean, every time they serve dinner and they invite people by for dinners and different yeah. functions that they have there, uh, the food is always the best. Yeah, because yeah. at the last uh, event they had not too long ago, I was having problems because I was trying to talk to you, and at the time I was trying to talk to you, you were eating, man. Yes, I was. That's... And it was like, run. Let me digest my yeah. food. I will speak to you and later. And I will speak to you <laughs> later. Right. Yeah. Dr. Ron Gregory is our guest. He's from the New Millennium Group, and they're here to assist uh, Ms. Ali Stewart for the Southside Wellness Center because their buses were ripped of their catalytic converters, and uh, we need to replace them. We're to New Life Evangelist Center, 2428 Woodson Road in Overland, Missouri, you know, Mrs. Stewart and Dr. Gregory have been supporters of New Life Evangelist Center for many, many years. They've contributed food and money and clothing and so forth. And uh, right now, the need is some hats and gloves and clothes, both, both men and women, hygienic products like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, laundry detergent is one of the things, uh, his and her razors and shaving creams and warm clothes for men and children, men, women, and children. This is just some of the needs. And New Life Evangelic Center are providing for those in need. We need you to help us and bring some of these items by if you can. Even water. We need water. We're 2428 Woodson Road in Overland, Missouri, 63114. And uh, you can do it online at New Life Evangelistic Center, www.newlifeevangelisticcenter.org. The American Express, Visa, MasterCard, Discover Card. Takes less than two minutes to make that tax-deductible donation or gift or favor to the New Life Evangelistic Center. And we'll be back with uh, Mrs. Ollie Stewart after this. It's so cold outside, and so many people are sleeping outside. I find them on the sidewalks. Our first responders find them everywhere. Please support the work of New Life Evangelistic Center so we can get gloves for the hurting and the homeless. So many are sleeping outside. Many people don't realize that they can lose their fingers because of the severe frostbite. So many people like Leo are suffering at this time. God bless those of you that are sharing. Those that are bringing your gloves to 2428 Woodson Road in Overland, Missouri, 806 North Jefferson in Springfield. Or those of you that are sharing at this time when there's so many critical financial needs as New Life Evangelistic Center tries to put gloves on the hands of the hurting and homeless and are sending your gifts to New Life Evangelistic Center at P.O. Box 473, St. Louis, Missouri. That's 63166. Please encourage everyone you know to share with New Life Evangelistic Center so our first responders can have the tools they need when they're out on the streets helping the hurting and the homeless. Please get involved now. We'll return to our guests after this Black History Moment. Today's subject, Ma Rainey, often called the mother of the blues. She was the first entertainer to successfully bridge the divide between vaudeville and authentic black southern folk expression. With a mouthful of gold teeth, richly dark skin, and flashy jewelry dangling about her, Rainey cast a striking figure with a regularly powerful voice and a lavish style presence to match. A Georgia native, Rainey began her career on the tent show circuit, traveling with performance troops that set up their own stages in towns across the South and Midwest, honing her own gracious brew of music, comedy, and social commentary. When she started singing at Gold Teeth would Sparkle, the pianist and composer Thomas Dorsey said, who was the musical director for some of her best known performances. She was in the spotlight, he added. She possessed listeners. They swayed, they rocked, they moaned and groaned as they felt the blues with her. Ma Rainey. Now you can take NLEC TV anywhere as you put the NLEC TV app on your iPhone or mobile device. 
NLEC TV is the innovative TV station that's on the cutting edge of community service. When you tune in to NLEC TV, you'll discover a television station that has been operated by previously homeless individuals who've received broadcast training through New Life Evangelistic Center's unique on-the-job training program. On NLAC TV, you'll discover wholesome family, community, renewable energy, and inspirational programming. Those needing energy assistance, food, clothing, or freedom from the cycle of homelessness will find that plus much more on NLAC TV. Now, you can receive NLAC TV by going to 24.2 on your television set or putting the NLAC TV app on your iPhone or mobile device. For further information, call 314-436-2424 or go to NLECSTL. Dot org. That's NLECSTL.org. And welcome back. We're here to make the final appeal for you to help the Southside Wellness Center because their buses were actually robbed of their catalytic converters and it, it mobilized so much of the needs that the people need in the community that Ollie Stewart provides from Southside Wellness Center, the transportation need. And Ms. Stewart, once again, tell us the need for the buses and what you do with them. Well, as so we stated before, we, we transport uh, elderly and disabled. Mm -hmm. And mainly, I'm really concerned about the disabled because they need to go to their workshops, mm -hmm. uh, whether working or daycare. And uh, we work, like I said, we work with the East Seal. Some of them are severe disabled. Sure. And that is a way that they get out the house, mm -hmm. give their a caretakers some release and then we bring them back home afterward. Mm -hmm. uh, we take them also to social group activities on Saturday nights. We uh, take them to the movies, some of them go bowling, uh, whatever activity that they um, have been provided for them. So we make sure that they get door-to-door -door transportation to where they are going and back home. It's seven days a week, right? No, no. Yeah. Sometimes we work six days a yeah. week, mm -hmm. but we. But I know you do some weekend activities. Yeah, some weekend yeah. trips. Sure. But we mm -hmm. do. We go, and they, they will get up and call. Am mm -hmm. I on list? Or uh, what time the bus coming? Yeah. And they look forward to that transportation, mm -hmm. and it really serves a need. And I am proud to be able to provide that. We've been providing transportation for a long, long time. How can they help you? Well, we just help us keep those vehicles running. Right. And I'm, I'm they asking for the community help. Mm -hmm. When you see someone messing with buses uh, underneath there, will you please call the police? Sure. And we, I talk with the chief and with, with the police, and the community have to get involved because mm -hmm. somebody knows who is still in these things. And somebody knows who's buying them, too. That's somebody, yeah. Sure. I asked the police, and I asked Channel 4, mm -hmm. came out and said, if somebody's buying them because they not only hit Southside Wellness, they hit the citywide. Yeah, yeah. And they tell me they even go into the junkyard and mm -hmm. removing those things. It's a market for them, but we put, well, I want to know what are they doing with them? Who buying them? Sure. Yeah. And so that's what I talk with uh, the police department. And, mm -hmm. and I just feel that we all have to work together to prevent search crime in the community. Sure. Ms. Ali Stewart's my guest. She's at the Southside Wellness Center. The phone number there is 314-664-5024. And her email address is southwell at swbell.net. That's southwell at swbell.net. And if you come in and help Ali Stewart and those at the Southside Wellness Center, it's all tax deductible. So, Ms. Stewart, we have to leave now, but I just want to say thank you again for coming by and thank all that you, you do it's in the community. It's always an honor to see you, Bunny. I, thank you. We know it's so graceful. We are just aging gracefully together. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> wonderful. And thank you for viewing us and continue to support the New Life Evangelistic Center. We're we 2428 Woodson Road in Overland, Missouri. Reverend Larry Rice has been here nearly 50 years. Not at this yes. location, but providing these services. And we need your help. Continue to help and support. Have a great day. Thank you.